Donald Trump is apparently still a little bit angry over the fact that CBS decided to call him out for initially agreeing to do an interview on 60 Minutes and then of course backing out. So days, literally days after that 60 Minutes interview with Vice President Kamala Harris aired Monday night, Donald Trump came out on Truth Social just absolutely crazier than ever and accused CBS of not only deceptively editing the video, but then suggested that they could have their broadcast license pulled after a lengthy investigation that he demands start right now. Here is what this absolute lunatic said on Truth Social. I've never seen this before, but the producers of 60 Minutes sliced and diced cut and pasted, lion Kamala's answers to questions which were virtually incoherent over and over again, some by as many as four times in a single sentence or thought, all in an effort, possibly illegal as part of the news division which must be licensed, to make her look more presidential, or at least better. It may also be a major campaign finance violation. This is a stain on the reputation of 60 Minutes that is not recoverable. It will always remain that this once storied brand... I have never heard of such a thing being done in news. It is the very definition of fake news. The public is owed a major and immediate apology. This is an open and shut case and must be investigated starting today. Technically, I mean, I hate to get just, you know, really nuts and bolts here, but if it's an open and shut case, then you don't, you don't actually need the investigation because the shut part means that it finished right? That's, that's what's shutting it. Um, so I don't, I don't know if you know the definition of literally any words, but that that's, you can't, you can't use those two things together. Um, <laughs> when the investigation concludes, then it's open and shut. Okay. Just so we know, here's the thing. Trump is threatening to pull their license. That's why he mentioned must be licensed. And he wants an investigation over something that there's literally no proof even happened. He's making this up just like Republicans make up everything because they have nothing real to say to people. They have no actual achievements to run on for the last 40 years. So they lie, they cheat, they make stuff up and they do it for two reasons. One, because they're desperate and they got nothing else to talk about, but two, and more importantly, they think you're dumb. That's why Trump does this. He doesn't do it because he's dumb. He does it because he thinks you're dumb. And millions of people without any shred of evidence, because he offered none, he had nothing to back this up. Millions of people will read it and believe it without questioning it ever for the rest of their lives. There will be people that see his post on Truth Social that will never watch 60 Minutes again for no good reason. Other than he told them they're forever stained, they're wrong, they're good, bye, you're, you're done. Th- th- this, is, this is insanity. This is utter insanity coming from a convicted felon, by the way. And we're supposed to take his word for it, the man with 34 felony convictions? Again, there's no evidence that this happened. Did uh, CBS probably make some edits to the interview? Yeah. Any organization, pretty much, that does a pre-recorded interview is going to make edits, but they're not going to edit content. They're going to edit, you know, any delays, any weird things happening, if they have to stop and then restart, if the person doing the interview or the person being interviewed needs to get some water, take a break, whatever, there will be cuts to it. Just like in, I'm willing to bet all of the pre-recorded interviews Donald Trump has done, there's been cuts and edits because that's what happens. It doesn't mean that the content was changed. doesn't mean that they were taking her answers and sticking them on other questions, as Trump says is happening. It's just what happens with pre-recorded interviews to polish them up a little bit. But this man is insane. He is launching a new conspiracy theory, of course, with just a few weeks to go in the election because he got his feelings hurt because 60 Minutes called him out for backing out of the interview. That is what this is all about. Hi everyone, this here is little Athena. And Athena would like to know why you haven't subscribed to Fair and Balanced yet. So please, 
Don't let Athena down. Subscribe today.